as you could probably tell, I am at my parents' house. We will head to Minnesota quite soon, but that's why the shelves behind me are interesting and different and the video quality is not great. <laughs> so sorry about that. So I read quite a few books in 2022 and for the most part I enjoyed them all. Like it was a pretty solid reading year as you might be able to gather when I do my best books of 2022 video which will going up right after this. Um, so if you're interested check that one out. But I had some books that were not great. So I'm gonna run through the top what like 12? worst books that I read in 2022 and I just want to put the disclaimer of like I'm not necessarily saying these are bad books I'm just saying these are books that I didn't enjoy that either disappointed me or didn't mesh with me it's all personal opinion if some of these are your favorite books I'm sorry that I'm not trying to like say you have terrible taste in reading or anything like that that's not at all what I'm trying to say I'm just saying that they didn't vibe with me specifically this will include DNFs, but I will say the book that I rated the worst book of 2022, I did finish all the way to the end because I didn't want it to be a DNF. I felt like it was something that I should have given a full chance to. So jumping right into it, the worst book that I read in 2022 was Spindle and Dagger. This book, I couldn't follow anything that this book was trying to do or say. There were it gave no context. You had to read the summary in order to kind of know what was going on. But even then, it was like still super confusing. The flashbacks were, it was hard to tell what was a flashback slash memory and what was actually happening in the present. I didn't care for our characters. The writing was terrible. I just didn't understand anything. I even had the audiobook to try and help me and it just, oh, it was a nightmare. So this was a one star read. So this was easily the worst book that I read in 2022. There is honestly nothing about it that I could find positive or intriguing. The only reason I was able to finish it was because it was so short and I had the audiobook. So I just forced myself to finish it. It was also a book that I owned. It was given to me. So I wanted to like actually give it as much of a chance as I could. Not good at all. I still can barely tell you what it was about. It's about like this woman whose town got raided and she convinced the guy that she was the like spokesperson for a specific goddess that would bring him luck and all of his triumphs except he was a jerk and she just didn't know what to do so the second worst book that i read in 2022 was empire of the vampire by jay kristoff this was a dnf for me i dnf'd it probably 40% of the way in, 30 to 40% of the way in. I wasn't super intrigued by it in the first place because I, I, I wanted to read something with vampires. I didn't quite get what the book was about and so I started to read it and the beginning was confusing but then it had like a whole story of his past and I was like okay this is really cool I'm enjoying it but then as soon as we hit back into like the present like everything just stopped happening nothing was going on and i was getting super bored it's bigger than your sister this is ashitaka oh goodness yeah your eyes you make them look like the devil you are love you okay and i was just there was no way i was gonna keep going i was so bored i wasn't getting anything i was just like you know what i don't need to read this there are other books i would rather read so I decided to read those instead. The third worst book that I read this year was The Witch Hunt. I So this was another DNF. I read the first book and I liked it. I thought it was definitely overhyped. Kind of interesting, blah, blah, blah. And then I read, I started reading The Witch Hunt and I was like, no, this is, this is not it. I'm done. I wasn't, I wasn't vibing with the writing. It was kind of confusing. I just was not having it. So the end no more. DNF, no rating. Let's move on. 
fourth was Spells Trouble, and this is by an author duo. This book was, I finished it, and it was like a one or a two star. I think it was a two star, and I really, I didn't like the writing because I feel like it was two old people trying to have their main character sound young and hip, and that just felt wrong and the characters didn't feel genuine or realistic or like people I could connect to or cared about because it felt like the authors wrote them super weird. They also had really messed up priorities like they were more worried about boys than like the death of their mom. They seemed to just know nothing about the very thing that their family is supposed to do and that they have been doing and it was just very annoying. Only one good element that I liked and that was the the cat human but she was not enough of a figure to like actually make a difference for this book not great not a favorite oh well number five was somewhere between bitter and sweet I don't know what exactly it was about this book but like I started off and I was like okay this is all right you know it's literally every other food based contemporary book but sure, fine, yeah, whatever. But the ending, it just brought the whole book down for me. I don't, I can't even pinpoint what it was, but by the end of it, I was like, I kind of wish I didn't read this, and at least it's over now, so I can move on, but I was like, no, this is not what I wanted. And it wasn't great. That was kind of my thoughts on that book like I, a lot of these books I'm just not gonna have thoughts on other than like it wasn't great the writing too mm -mm. number six was a spindle splinter this book irked me I was so excited to read this in June and then I did not like the twists it took I didn't like the direction it went in the writing at first I thought the writing was great but then once I got past like the first chapter I was like oh no this is actually terrible it bothers me I don't like this and then the characters just didn't mesh with me I was like who in their right mind would ever do this say this blah 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 it just again it was another really short book that I was like this either should have been longer or just better written or something because it mm -mm. number seven is one I don't think I'll have to talk about too much Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. I share a lot of opinions as most people who read this book where this book honestly could have been like 50 pages and it would have been a much better version of what it actually was because so little happened and there was just so much internal of like hmm, what do I do? I gave myself this role, now I need to do things over and over again. I was just like me hating Alina, hating Mal, nothing happening. Can we just move on to the final book, please? Like, I just, yeah. I'm not sorry. Book number eight was The X-Hex. This one, again, I had such high hopes for The X-Hex. And then I realized, I read it and I hated it and I realized that, oh, it's because everybody hated the first one but really liked the second one. That's what it was. Because again, there was just this huge disconnect for me of, like, they have a countdown of they need to fix this issue in a certain amount of time. And yet, what are they doing? Just sleeping together. Over and over and over again. Come on, people, this is not what I'm here for. Like... Don't get me wrong, I love spice in books. Like, I'm fine with a couple of those, but when you are actively on a countdown and you're having no progress solving the issue, ignoring it and dooming everyone in your town is not going to help. Like, you can keep it in your pants for a week, trust me. And then just the whole, like, hex itself, I was, I was hoping it would just be better. It just wasn't what I expected, wasn't what I wanted, wasn't what the summary made me think it was going to be. And so it was very disappointing. So, two stars. Most of these are two stars, pretty much, at this point. Except for this next one. This next one is like a one star. Spells of Iron and Bone. Huh. I read this book thinking it was a different book. 
similar issues with this one as the X hex, but I also knew that that was kind of the point of the book is that it's it's just a spice book disguised by having a plot and having a magic world and system. Except I was actually invested in the plot, but oh, the characters and the steam just was not that great. So I was like, okay, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, bad. And then you're doing what you're not supposed to be doing. And that was good, but it wasn't enough. And it should have been this rather than that. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what it is. So yeah, that, that was just kind of a mistake. That was unintentional. Number 10 was Set On You. <sighs> this contemporary book. That main character just bothered the heck out of me. And then he bothered me too. Like, both characters irked me. I did not like reading about them. I didn't like how she was acting. She was acting like a baby. I didn't like how he was acting because it seemed like he had a personality switch halfway through the book. And it was all very petty. And it was not cute or entertaining like I was hoping it would be. Mm. I mean, like, everyone in the book were influencers and they were all successful and I'm just like, that's not how it works. Trust me, it's not. It's not. So, it just was a miss. Like, this book could have been so good, but it just missed the mark. Number 11 was Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. So I read her other book, My Killer Vacation, before this. And I don't know if that was a good thing or not. Because I didn't really like this very much. I didn't, there, I didn't like the chemistry between the characters. In that I felt like it kind of wasn't there. But the whole appeal of the grumpy sunshine and then him being like very dominant wasn't really there. Like, I didn't see his sunshine enough. Like, he physically looked sunshine, but he didn't really act sunshine. Like, the book was trying to say, like, this is what it is, but then it just kind of wasn't. And so that was pretty disappointing. I liked the female main character. I just had a lot of issues with the male main character. So this was a two star. And the reason I say I don't know if it was a good thing for me to have read My Killer Vacation before this or not is because I loved My Killer Vacation. So loving that book, I really wanted to read this one. And I, and I forced myself to finish it. And I think that was because I was hoping that it would just get better. But also, I knew if I read this one first, I don't think I would have wanted to read My Killer Vacation because I didn't like this one. So I'm glad that I read it so that I know, like, okay, maybe it was just because this is an older book. You know, Tessa Bailey had to get better at some of her writing. So, yeah, I'm going to keep reading her little spice novels. This just wasn't it. I was so disappointed because, like, it seemed so interesting, but... Mm. Again, it just kind of missed the mark. And then the final book that was one of the worst books that I read this year it was actually Unbirthday. It's one of the Disney Twisted Tales. It was the Alice in Wonderland. I honestly cannot remember, like, anything about it. Like, I just was confused. It didn't work. I just didn't enjoy it at all. I was sitting there going, what is this? What's happening? Is this even like Alice in Wonderland or not? It just, yeah, it was a two star. So that's really all I have to say about it is that I like, I finished the book and just went, I have no idea what happened in this book. I have no memory of reading this. For all I know, I probably didn't read it, even though I literally just did, which is kind of sad. So anyway, Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe as I will be posting the best books I read of 2022. Hopefully that will be a happier video to watch. I have bookish social media linked down below. You can follow me there and keep up with what I am reading in real time. Comment down below what were some of your worst or even best reads. Like if you wanna keep it positive, feel free. But if you just had a book that just missed the mark, or it didn't hit right, or you were really disappointed by your life, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But until I see you all in the next one, I wish you happy reading.